Mike Budenholzer agreeing to a four-year contract to become the Bucks head coach. By all accounts, this guy really knows what he's doing. He's got a star player to build around and a team that's got some really nice young pieces around him. I think it's a great fit. I think, I think you couldn't have done much better than Mike Budenholzer. Please join me in what I see as the grand opening of a new era for the Milwaukee Bucks. This is a new stage uh, for the Bucks. For Giannis. Giannis is all alone at the basket. Gamble Walker. Walker inside, hits and knocks it out. But it goes to Shaq. Good. It's a good win, especially on the road. It's hard, especially open the night when you got the fans ready to go. Seating capacity of 17,500. They're waving their white towels. And what a night for sports in Milwaukee. Has there ever been a better night? Straight out top, drives on Thaddeus Young and throws it Chris down. out of the good balls. Brooke Lopez, Malcolm Brogdon, and Eric Bledsoe. Three-point shooting. You want it, you get it. 17 for 47. 123, 108 the final. Just the third time in franchise history that Milwaukee has been 4-0. The 6-0 Raptors come to town to take on the 6-0 Bucks the two lone remaining undefeated teams in the NBA. Only one remains in the unbeaten ranks. It's the Milwaukee Bucks. 7-0 on the season. That ties a franchise best start. 7-0 from the 1971-72 team. Even without Giannis, the group just did what they did. Nobody tried to force. Had an incredible night. I still believe that the Celtics have the highest ceiling. Lutzo gets it down. Giannis goes at Horford. The reverse takes the inbounds and fires, and that'll do it. Celtics win it by four. They go to six and two. I think there's a lot of things we can work on, a lot of things we can improve and get better. And um, that's the exciting part. Think about it. You know, it's getting better. I think it will. Giannis on the loose. Oh, he did. What message did the Bucks send tonight? Now that we arrived, I think uh, the team will play really hard. Just got to keep getting better every day and uh, playing good basketball. That Splash Mountain is what they're calling them out there. They are the best team in the NBA. That is what the record says. Best record, best net efficiency, best points per game differential. The Bucks are also scoring more points per game than any other team. I'm announcing my Superman ship and I'm giving it to the group. Of all the teams in the East, we, no one was talking about them before it began. Here we are at Milwaukee, Mike is the team speak. Giannis and LeBron, the captains are in place. We are ready to uh, begin the draft. Giannis, you've got the first pick of the reserves. I got to go with Chris Middleton. Cash money. Here we go, 68th All-Star game, and it is Team LeBron going against Team Giannis. Middleton, feeling it. Yes, Look at this. Three in a row. Man, what's going on line. with these Milwaukee Bucks? Hey, man. Here's Curry with a high bounce pass. Oh, and Giannis working it all. Giannis on the break to the rim. The new NBA arena is on full display. Oh, and Nico Miritic to the Bucks seems like a fantastic deal for them. An absolutely grand slam deal for the Bucks. Miritic with his first Milwaukee three. Shot clock at three. Middleton got it. Got it. Big time three. They're the best record in the sport. All they do is beat good teams. They are so much better than people give them reason to believe. The basketball world is watching. As LeBron James, Giannis Adetokounmpo, meet for the 18th time. Adetokounmpo slides in. The Bucks outgun the Lakers, 131 to 120. The finals. And not only do the Bucks own the best record in the NBA, they have already clinched their spot in the postseason.